Hello, Benjamin Beckley here of Vision Power Academy. Welcome, welcome again to my channel. I want to appreciate every one of you that have been watching our tutorial videos and, you know, dropping your comments. And uh, everyone that has subscribed to this channel, thank you and thank you again and again. Now, today I'm going to be um, sharing with you how to record and edit your audio um, without having to pay monthly fee or pay any dime freely and uh, easily using a free tool that is called Audacity. Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y. Audacity. Audacity is a free open source audio software now you can use it to record yourself you can use it to edit your audio you can also use it to import uh, already made audio and then edit it and then you bunch it back as mp3 or any other format that you want it to be so the software is called audacity and audacity is very easy to use so the website is www.audacityteam.org or you can just go on to google and search for audacity a u d a c i t y and once you get there it's free it's open source and it's very easy to to use you just go on to download if you are using a windows if you are using a mac or any other one so if I'm using a Windows, you click on download and then you go all the way down and download the installer. That's very easy to use and good. So click on Audacity installer. You click on it, it will download on your computer and then you'll be able to run it. All right, I already have it on this computer. So I'm just going to go put it up and then I'll show you how you can record how you can edit and how you can convert the edited content as mp3 or to any other format you want so this is how the interface looks like by default you necessarily don't need to change anything on it it's very easy it also has some effect tools if you want to use it to increase the bass amplify and all the words like that now they are not active because we don't have anything um recorded here so we're gonna record now this button right there is a pause button this is a play button this is a stop button this is a rewind or skip to home and this is skipping to the last page or the end so this right there is the record button when you want to start your recording you click on the record button now if you have any other microphone apart from the inbuilt microphone on your computer or your laptop you want to check here this is for microphone so i'm using uh, my one of my microphone is an external microphone and um, you can also use the inbuilt microphone on your computer very easy to use so that is my microphone and then i just click on the record button and anything i'm saying it's going to be recorded so you can see the wave that is being generated those are recordings right on the screen all right let me just say some few things and then we're going to walk through the editing of it and i'll show you how easy this is anybody can do it so you can sit down record the audio and then bunch it as mp3 it could be useful for anything you could use it for songs you could use it for um, teachings or tutorials or preaching if you're a preacher or motivational talks or anything it's a good tool for audio recording now hello this is benjamin berkeley of vision power i'm working on a tutorial right now about using audacity to record audio content and i will show you how to edit it all right so let's assume that all i said is all i need and once you're done you can stop it 
and click on the stop button you see right there once i click on the stop button what i did just stopped my recording stopped now this button will take me to the beginning take me to the beginning of my recording you see once i click it to the beginning this will take me to the end of it you see right there if you don't want to be pressing the button you can just move yourself drag yourself right there and click your cursor right there but it's good to use that and if you want to play you just click on the play button or the space bar on your computer so i'm going to use the play button so you can hear back what i recorded So you see how clear what I recorded. So all these things you see are waves. They are recordings. All right. So now let's assume you want to make it smaller or, or I believe it uh, zoom in. This is a zoom button. This is zoom in and this is zoom out. So you can make it bigger, zoom in so that you can fit a screen. But if you want to do proper re-editing, it's good to zoom out at least to be able to see. All right. So let's assume that um, I want to cut a part off. I don't need it in my recording. This is how you go. Play. So I want to remove the word. You can see the wave and you could know that it started from somewhere around it. So what you need to do is to go here and select it. You select it. I'm using my, my mouse to select it. You can also use your keep um, your your your, um, your laptop um, um, touch. You know, if you have a touch um, um, platform on it where you touch and you move, you can drag and you can just select the point where you want to edit or where you want to remove. So let's assume that I want to remove this part. Look at it. So it's going to stop right there because I have highlighted that part. And what do I need to do? All I need to do is to press the delete button on my keyboard. If I want to get that off, just press the delete button on my keyboard. And that part is no longer going to be part of my content. So, so you can see that that is gone. That is how to edit. That's how to remove a part. Maybe you made a mistake or you said something you don't want to say. You can cut it out from the recording and let's assume that i mistakenly you know cut something out and i want to have it back i was like oh i just deleted that that wasn't what i wanted to delete all you need to do is to press ctrl z ctrl z on your keyboard ctrl key and z it will restore it back you see it restored it back and it still remain highlighted so this is the way you can edit and this is the way you can restore. So I'm going to cut it off. And then I keep listening. Okay, so I want to cut that area. And I say, all right, let me just say some few things. You can see this is the area, just to be sure. So I want to edit that also out of the way. I can just select it and just press the delete button. And then, bam, it is gone. Now, let's assume that I want to replace that with a new voice or with something I want to say that is not uh, in the original thing I have said before. I wanted to add something to it, like, let's say, number one. So I want, instead of, let me just say something, I just say number one. I want to put it in there. So what I'm going to do, there are many ways to do it, but this is one of the ways. I'm going to put my cursor right in there right in there at a spurt and then i'm going to go ahead and press the record button so and as a number one now look at it it's not going to put it right in the middle of that it can create another um another with um, platform for it or you put it at the back so i can copy it i can copy it from there so you see that i don't need this look at it i got it off and then I put it, I copy the number one I just said, you know how to copy or to cut. You can use this key to cut it off. I just cut it like that. This is copy, this is paste. So cut, copy, paste, or you can use your control key. 
all right so i'm gonna go look for where i want it to be in my content so definitely you need to be patient with this so you need to learn patience with this So let me assume that this is where I want it to be. So I want it to be here. I'll just select my cursor in there and click on the paste button. It's going to paste it right where I want it to be. And then I can you know, merge it together, just select it. And all you need to do is to press the delete button. It will cement everything together. Now let's listen to it. So you see what I just put in there sat right in the middle where I want it to be. So this is uh, um, the easy way to use Audacity for your recording audio content. And there are many things you can do with it. If you want to like um, increase the base of it, you can select all of it. I use Control A to select all of it. And then you go to Effect. You can amplify. You can increase the base or the treble. You can remove um, noise reduction. And all these are effects that you can try out when you use audacity so i will encourage you to play around with all this but you necessarily don't need them maybe unless you're probably a music producer and things like that but if it's just for normal recording of your voice make sure you have a good microphone or inbuilt microphone record straight look at it straight to the wave and once you are done with your recording all you need to do is to now bunch it to make it playable so you go to file i want to convert it to export it to mp3 i go to file and click on export and then export as mp3 you can export as mp3 you can export as wave you can export as ogg but it's easy and very easy to play with mp3 so click on mp3 and then you select where you want it to save the um the file where do you want it to save? So i'm going to put it on the music I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to give it a title. What is the title? So I'm going to call it testing so that I know what I just did. And then I'm going to click save. Okay. Um, my library is music, music. So I want it on the music testing and then I'm going to click save. So now it's requiring me to fill what we call the metadata. Now the metadata is the information that you have imputed into the file that when it is playing it shows on the screen you know when you listen to a song you see it's showing like the title the name of the uh, the artist and things like that so this is where you do that so the most important thing here um for me is the name so we're going to put the name the track title you're going to call it testing then i can leave the, every other thing i can leave the rest and then just click on okay now it's going to convert it to mp3 now i just converted all i recorded and edited here to mp3 then what do i do i need to go look for my file remember where did we put it music so i'm gonna look for it in my music folder and this is it testing now let me play it for you and this is sent this is playable anywhere So can you see the clarity? So did you see the part where I joined or added something? Of course, it wasn't really perfect. Like there is a difference in voice tempo. So the best you want to do is to make sure that you record straight. Okay, so this file right there is playable anywhere. You can send it to people. You can do whatever you want to do with it. So this is how you use Audacity for recording and for editing. You can play around with it, you know, 
walk around with it you can record edit record edit and do a lot of things um if you want to break it into tracks you can work with these add new tracks um, you know it will add new track here for you so maybe you want to have an underlay an under voice or a voice over on what is already recorded you know you can do a lot of that with this um tool all right let me show you how you can import a ready-made file and edit it so the first thing i showed you is how to record and edit and then so let this is a blank um interface i will go to file import i want to import a ready-made doc um mp3 um, um song or file so i'm gonna go use the one we did edit the testing one so i'm importing it back in right here so you can see that I can import a ready-made MP3 or WAV file and bring it back here. So I can, whatever has already been done before, I can import it here and do the same process, edit it, and then export it back and turn it to a new file. All right, so that is how to use Audacity. I want you to do your own, you know, test it out, play around with it. It is very easy to use and you will enjoy it. I tell you, you will enjoy. You can also create an income stream from this by, you know, placing adverts are outside or going to platforms like Fiverr or Upworks or Freelancer.com and, you know, tell people you are an um, audio editor or you do simple audio editing. So you can just do simple audio editing and, you know, make money from it. Um, and, and this is the tool you need to use. You don't pay any time for it. It doesn't work with the internet. Once you downloaded it, you have it already. It works directly on your computer. It's not a web-based um, software. You just install it on your computer. It works with Mac. It works with um, your Windows. And it is absolutely free and easy to use well i believe that you have learned something from this tutorial drop me a comment in the comment section if this had been value adding and also um ask your question if you have any question drop it in the comment section i will do my best to answer you and also make sure you click on the subscribe button ensure that you subscribe you don't want to miss out of tutorials that will be life impactful as this um my watch out for my next video i'm going to be teaching you how to use more free tools digital free tools that will advance and help you in all you do and you don't want to miss out of that so click on the subscribe button and watch out for my next video till i come your way again i remain benjamin beckley of vision power academy thank you so much appreciate you